hi welcome back welcome 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 if you're new i am so foolish girl this is a collective reading for whoever needs it at this time just breathe with me take what resonates leave what doesn't please keep in mind this is a timeless reading however it will be the realest reading of your life if you like this don't forget to press like share subscribe so there is a cycle taking place <coughs> a major transition a relationship um, a business venture even a trip something is coming to full circle something's coming to an end and it really does seem to be a blissful spiritual ending okay for whoever is watching okay for you they're saying for you it is a blissful ending to a cycle that was full of so much emotion full of so much energy um for some of you the signs that could be relevant we have taurus we have leo we have scorpio we have aquarius cancer pisces scorpio i mean the level up and the wisdom the knowledge the going within it has all been worth it so you're looking for the new year what's gonna happen in 2025 it's like you're ready for it you're ready for this energy the tower moment is over the drama is over it's over it's behind you you handled it like like a champion i'm hearing you literally don't give up right now like you do not you are not even caring i'm hearing if it don't make dollars it don't make sense if it ain't real love what the you know what i'm saying like that's what i'm hearing you don't want you're, you're not tolerating anything your energy is shocking to people your energy is really throwing people off because you legit like some people think that you're going through something but in all actuality you're just giving people the cold shoulder you're you're listening to your intuition you're doing saying and a allowing the higher self to be in alignment some of you um and I, I'm hearing some of you, but this is a specific message. And for whatever reason, higher self is saying, you, 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 you're wearing something on your head. Could be a hat, could be some sort of head covering. And you're being guided to continue to cover your head when you are in public places. thumbs up from my guides you're being guided to and I feel so emotional there are so many things you know about people like doesn't matter if you are masculine or a feminine there's so many things you know about people you keep so many secrets like oh my goodness you're without judgment you are being seen in a major way from the spirit realm even in the natural things that were difficult for you in the past with this tower things that were difficult for you in terms of manifesting it's all behind you now like i feel so happy for you some of you are actually going to be coming into a windfall of luck i'm hearing to keep it to yourself don't tell anyone keep it a secret um keep your affairs private do not allow people do not avoid the drama avoid things that are just you know they're not in alignment it's small talk okay it's just all it's <laughs> I 
I heard a Gemini say this one. It's it once. Uh, it's all noise. All right. It's just. It's all freaking noise. You made the decision. You you took the red pill, and now what is manifesting is the world. The world is your oyster. We do have the world card here. Funny I said that. We have Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Um, you took the red pill. The red pill is popping. <laughs> I'm hearing like it's all good no one's gonna control you anymore no one's gonna control your thoughts you always my favorite affirmation I should really make a t-shirt I do everything right even when I don't know what I'm doing that's your energy you've embodied it and everything that you have sown it's coming full circle with this world card. Everything that you have sown is coming full circle with this, this world card. It's just like, it's coming back to you. I'm hearing a hundred fold. What? Holla at me, all right? <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look at that, the lovers. You're even like, okay, for some of you, yeah, someone here, you're, um... You're just in a place when it comes to love, you're like, ah, I can manifest the type of love I want. I can get whoever I want. I can do this. I have the power to do that. Again, with choices, 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 choices. I know I should have laid that lover's card down. But listen, your your choices are, see, you see this? This is the three of cups. So definitely more gemini aquarius libra cancer pisces scorpio energy three of cups but there's only one cup here there's only one person in this illustration and they're like you know what i'm giving love to you cheers to you cheers to self okay yeah, hanging out with friends is great. That's wonderful. You can hang out with your friends. You could be with your homies too. But right now, yeah, the only option is you. You're putting yourself first. And I absolutely love this. You deserve, you love yourself so much that you have so much love to give. But you understand boundaries. You took the red pill and you, you know all about these NPCs. All right? Holla at me. <laughs> You're not playing games with people. The NPCs get no time for, you know what's up. No one's tricking and fooling you. You know, even past energy, you're grateful for your, you're grateful for the difficult times. And what's coming ahead is, could be someone from your past really wanting to, really missing you, thinking of you, wanting to spend time with you. But again, I do feel like you're gonna be shocked at this new cycle because, I'm hearing for some of you, this 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 could be somebody that you really didn't expect to come through, but they remind you of the better version of your dream person. What? That is a lot. It's like, ugh. it's a shocker. You are shocking someone also. Um, uh, Walking on the lake, walking near the lake, walking near some city view, could be anywhere in Italy, Venice could be significant, um, anywhere in the world. Traveling is coming in. Some of you are going to be meeting, yeah, you're going to meet your person while you're traveling. Could be a Scorpio, could be an Aries any fire sign oh i'm hearing saturn 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 okay fine <laughs> it could be a capricorn maybe someone wants it to be a capricorn what's next what's next is amazing we do have the ace of pentacles so some of you are finding your dream home literally could be winning the lottery I think I said that I felt like I heard that and I was seeing that but then I was like should I say that so if I did say that before and I'm saying it again let me know channeling is different it's on another level you are so aware of your surroundings like 
things like diamond in the rough um, some of you are like so lucky right now especially if you work in hospitality or you're like in real estate I'm hearing something um, such as the beauty industry as well a lot of just opportunities falling into your lap some of you could get overwhelmed your dream job could be really coming through and the reason I'm saying that is because I'm seeing the tower and the ace of pentacles this is like being in the right place at the right time and just being so on point being ready and not being afraid at the same time all of that nervous energy and this is something that has been brewing for a while because again the start of this reading for you guys is this the world card so this is gonna shock you but don't worry you will be ready if you feel like you're not ready you're gonna be ready why is that because You do everything right, even when you don't know what you're doing, you're always in the right place at the right time. <laughs> you always get what you want or even better. So for some of you, this is a situation where you're going to be receiving a partner, a home, a job, even better. Now, I am getting a message to be careful in your... Interpersonal relationships, you know, where you feel like you're like mommy or listen to your intuition and like choose who you spend your time with wisely. I'm being drawn back to this queen of pentacles and it's reverse. So like I said, this is my favorite deck. I, I'm obsessed with this deck. So um, as an intuitive, I really don't like using tarot as much because I don't need the cards to read. So when I do get to use the cards here online, I love this deck. Maybe too much TMI. You see how I just started saying or giving or sharing too much? You might be in this motherly figure energy where you want to nurture and, and hold someone's hand, but it could possibly be causing you some sort of financial blockages some 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 sort of financial setback so just be careful who you're giving your time and your energy to okay be careful who you're giving your time and energy to especially if it's someone from the past that you just can't seem to get over could be a friend could be a lover could be an ex could be um children involved like baby mama baby daddy situation mm, it's just like okay like are you gonna keep doing that again is what i'm hearing are you gonna keep doing that again someone wants you back someone from your past reg regrets you walking away and it's causing them to go through a spiritual awakening right now so just be you know, you don't need to feel sorry for this person. Keep looking forward. Keep trusting your intuition. Some of you could be seeing deers. Some of you could be seeing bears. Some of you could be seeing the color purple. Some of you could be seeing a lot of number synchronicities coming through. Um, there could be a miscommunication because what you're going through is just an, a level up, a spiritual level up, and a lot of people can't go where you're going. But where you're going is leading you to so much abundance. Like, you're going to be that within the next nine months, I'm hearing. So you're going to be that next level CEO, boss, whatever okay Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy coming through Gemini Aquarius Libra all that time that you spent away from people you needed to do that you needed to take some time out okay so what do you need need to know about that's that's going around you going on around you if this 
has anything to do with love and romance. This is a timeless reading. I love it. Unconditional love. Someone is loving you unconditionally because you love yourself. Because you love yourself so much, someone's loving you unconditionally. And you might be just attracting people that have lighthearted energy. This is going to be, um, what's going on around you, I guess, in love and in general and some advice. <laughs> like all, all in one. Mmm, cassette in reverse. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. So someone is like, they want to be in your head. Someone wants you to think about them. Someone you thought wasn't thinking about you can't stop thinking about you. They're trying to stop thinking about you. Um... I mean, this cycle and this level up that you're going through and that you're on is so bomb. You, you're literally on everyone's mind. Everyone is thinking about you. So someone, you know, kind of like they regret maybe how they spoke to you or some things that they have done. But it's like you're trying to move forward and then it's like, Someone's going to be stuck on it. Someone is stuck on you, too. Um, and this could be someone that you knew from back in the day. A choice is coming up. The dragonfly. Be, be lighthearted. Okay, so the dragonfly. Um. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of funny. So we have shocking things, right? Um, the tower. We have the tower here. And then... Yeah, something is going to come to the light. It's going to be a shocker. I'm feeling like the person you really thought liked you all along, you're going to know that they like you. Or if you've been seeing signs and synchronicities about someone or something, you're going to find out that you're not crazy. <laughs> like that that person was thinking of you. That that person was you know I don't know like or that 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 job or that opportunity was coming whatever it is like that you're seeing signs and synchronicities this self-love that you have made is gonna like that's gonna show up in your life you're gonna see a reflection of your self love and some of you are learning to love yourself again and it's just making people think about you a lot people are you be on people's minds a lot but in a good way in a good way some of you are worried about the evil eye I'm hearing you are protected um, Things that are like triggering you or a relationship that's bothering you, you're figuring out how to deal with those issues. You know that it's hard for you to forgive someone. It's hard, but you know that you have to forgive someone. You are letting go. You are loving yourself. That is a form of forgiveness because you have to forgive yourself first. So, yeah, maybe you're forgiving yourself first and then therefore becoming able to forgive other people. Okay? Getting over someone or something that's just not healthy for you. That's coming up. It's like enough is enough. I deserve so much more. And so much more is headed your way. So let's see. Let's get some advice, I guess, to to close out. And I'll go back to. Oh, I do feel like I have so many choices and options. I'll use this deck right here for advice. I was going to use the tarot and they were like, no, don't use the tarot. Use this deck that I got on Etsy. Um, wow. Blocked. Okay, so 
if you felt like you needed to cut someone out of your life, you made the right choice. Bottom line, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, there, it's new energy. The start of the reading, we had the world card, so this new cycle, don't let someone back in who doesn't deserve to come back in. Someone's gonna try to come back in wearing a mask, they're gonna throw you off your rocker, okay? They're gonna throw you off. So just know this is a new cycle. Leave old energy, leave those dark secrets, that dark energy in the past, okay? That energy that is karmic and just unhinged. Okay, so let's get one or two more for advice. Wow, okay. So you're just getting along so well with people and try to work things out before you give up on your connections and give up on relationships. Not everything is black and white, all right? And I'm also hearing that everyone is you pushed out, so you're just like, then they're just like you and love is love right so try i mean obviously i'm not saying turn the other cheek or if you're dealing with abuse you should put up with that type of behavior or even any coals oh my goodness why can't i say this word there's an actual word i can't say coercive control <laughs> That's new to me. Yeah, if someone's basically being passive aggressive and mm, there's microaggression involved, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about things that you actually feel are reflecting back to you that you know you can heal. You know that you can just let go, be the bigger person, right? Because I'm seeing twins here. Some of you could be twins, right? Some of you could be Gemini, all right? Um, could be any sign, but I'm just saying, right? We are all one, and you're not alone. If you're feeling like you're alone, you are not alone. Your angels and spirit guides might be asking you to reach out and just actually speak to them. Let them know that you love them right and that you need their protection and that you're grateful and thankful for their protection something big is going to come in the springtime being lighthearted about yourself your life and others some of you are spring babies some of you are gonna have a spring baby um, let's take that who, re who it resonates with all right not everyone wants to have children some of these messages are specific The universe is sending you a lot of uplifting energies. If you feel just suddenly happy or lighthearted or just some sort of warm and fuzzy, loving, happy feelings, just know that this is a message, a confirmation from your angels, your spirit guides, or past over loved ones that really truly adore you especially whenever you're feeling down. Things are about to spring up for you. Things are about to turn over in your favor. So just keep your thoughts positive and focus on the present and the future. Yes, you're just getting started. And with this Prince energy, be creative, be open-minded, be fun, be exciting. Um, dress to impress, okay, is your advice, and incantation row, okay, so the story of the parrot, you know what, just let people yap, yap, yap if they want to be on some BS, all right, do you think about what you're creating, because you create your own reality with your thoughts, your beliefs, and things that you think about and talk about most of the time, so we're gonna leave right here also i'm hearing like you're about to get that girl that guy that that whatever it is that you're wanting because you have been doing some hella good 
robotic affirming so shout out to you um you will be getting your specific person and everything else in between this is the best reading thanks again for watching i will see you guys soon until next time don't forget to press like share share subscribe subscribe click the bell notification comment let me know what's up with you and i'll see you soon peace